colossal meaning. We find ourselves here just to the north of the Doha city center, ahead of the 2022 World Cup final. My name is Derek Ray, and with me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. And as you can imagine on this occasion, the atmosphere is building up nicely. It's New Zealand against Brazil. Well, what an occasion for these two sets of players. A chance to be world champions. Let's hope the game matches the atmosphere. It should be an absolute cracker. I can't wait for this to start. three formation with a centre forward and two wingers so it's important that the midfield players give support to the striker whenever the ball goes wide they can't allow him to be isolated The starting 11 for Brazil. Alisson begins in goal. Danilo starts with Alexandro as fullbacks. Casemiro plays alongside Lucas Paqueta in central midfield. And the focal point in attack today is Neymar. And the contest begins. Kakachi. Illegal play and hence a free kick. Well, he went strongly into the challenge and the result is a throw in. continues they're making considerable progress but it fizzles out thanks to that piece of defending Paqueta might be a chance here and a goalkeeper on top of his game well it's great goalkeeping what a big save that is as marker for dead and the danger still on oh the referee points to the spot penalty Can he make it 1-0? And a goal! He was composure personified, and he's done his job from the spot. Well, here's the replay, and he just strikes the ball down the middle. The goalkeeper gets out of the way. It's a really good penalty, and no danger that the goalkeeper was going to save that. So underway again here, 1-0 the score.
Chris Wood. Promising looking ball. Well, nothing comes of the attack when all is said and done. Vinicius. Fred. Oh, this is looking promising. Paqueta. Neymar! Well, clearly in the mood to make it a double, but fine goalkeeping. Well, he's playing really well today. That was another decent attempt. It's Neymar's corner. And he clears the danger. Casimiro. Gonna get a try. Oh, a smart stop. Well, what a magnificent save that was. It really was top-class goalkeeping. Well, as spectacular as the save was, it can't be just about their stellar keeper. They know that. And a good take under duress there. Casemiro. Neymar. On to Paqueta. Oh, big chance! Well, with that one, it could put too fine a point on it. That goes down as a team effort and easy for the keeper. Can he deliver it with accuracy? And a super header. It looked as though it might be going in. They'll repeat the trick. Corner again. Fired in by Neymar. But he failed to get it away properly. Well, great read there to intercept. Real chance. He can't hold on to it. Oh, a goal it is! The equaliser in this final. What next in the drama? Well, as you can see, it's an error from the goalkeeper. You just can't spill it into a dangerous area like that. So back underway. One goal apiece here. not too happy with the challenge and blows for a free kick Well, here's the replay, and he shows great awareness to play this through ball. And the finish is just as good. That's an excellent goal. So they get the ball moving again. Can Brazil come up with an answer here? Lucas Paqueta. It was going to take an audacious effort to beat the goalkeeper from there. Takachi. Well, the 
attack looks promising. And options in the centre. Can't miss, surely! And they couldn't add to their advantage. Well, that would have put them in complete control. He should have scored there. to New Zealand Chris Wood and he read it well defensively A meaty but fair challenge, and it will be a throw-in. An alert intervention. Costa Barbarouses has got the right idea with that pass. Well, here it is again, and the keeper's lost his concentration here. He's totally in the wrong position. He'll be disappointed with that. Goal! So on with the action, and 3-1 the scoreline at the moment. Well, we are going to have a decent amount of stoppage time, three minutes to be exact. Could be a chance to break here. He's in behind. Well, the keeper reacted magnificently. A chance then for the respective managers to address the charges. It is half-time here. And this confrontation is under... So, back in business. The ball is rolling again. Brazil's difficulties there for all to see in the first half. How do they respond now? And they successfully got past him, but no damage done. That's the main thing. Rafinha has given it straight to the opposition. This looks promising. Just the challenge that was required. And flag raised. Offside. Well, that was always going to be offside. He just needed to hold on to the ball that little bit longer. Vinicius Jr. Alexandro. And that will be a Brazil ball. Alexandro and a good challenge to bring that attack to an end well now he's let that run out of play and it will be a throw in here he read the situation defensively and did his job
He might be able to carve something out. And there it is! Three goals in front now. An immense performance. Well, here it is again, and the defending simply isn't good enough. They have to react quicker, deal with the danger, and show more urgency. None of which they did, and that's the result. We have 30 minutes to go. Goals in plentiful supply, 4-1 currently. He might be able to profit from the wide position. This looks promising. Well, he clearly wants to complete his hat-trick, Stuart. Well, he's been fantastic up to now. You'd think it's going to come if he gets another opportunity. So, making the substitution now. Oh, great vision. Now potential danger. The end product just wasn't there. Danilo. Giving the ball away. Foul it is then. Here it is now, a substitution. Time for a change then. Might be able to get in behind the defence. Paqueta. And with that, the attack fizzles out. This might be ideal for the counter. And he's through here. Can he find the net? A goal! And I'll tell you what, on this sort of form, very few would lay a glove on them. Well, let's see this again. This is counter-attacking football at its very best. And his movement's so clever. Once he gets onto it, there's only one thought in his head. Smash it as hard as possible. What a good goal. A glut of goals, 5-1 it is. Number 12, Michael Buxler. Lucas Paqueta, committed challenge. Now well, doesn't get away with it, free kick given. Paqueta. Now, counter-attacking possibilities here. And they will be awarded a free kick for that. Payne. And Fred winkling possession away. 
away from the opposition. Liberato Kakachi. Oh, he's given it away. Lucas Paqueta. They were playing fluent football, but then the foul, and now you would anticipate a yellow card. Well, the referee has taken note of his name and number. Well, I think he can count himself a bit unlucky there, but it was certainly a foul. Substitution then. Let's see how it affects the match. Well, in truth, it could have been more challenging for the goalkeeper. This is looking threatening. Goalkeeper's ball, the cross delivered too close to him. Can he find the right pass? And both hands on it, good goalkeeping. Well, the electronic board showing three additional minutes. Fabinho. Paqueta. What a big chance that was. Keeper has the ball. Well, a successful intervention, winning the ball back. And now it's all over! And they can truly celebrate, because listen to this, they've won the World Cup! And they've done it with style as well. They've been absolutely superb throughout the tournament, and they fully deserved it today. The world champions! They put so much into this tournament, and now they have their reward, Stuart. You're absolutely right. They've been spirited, they've been hard-working, they've been well-organised. They thoroughly deserve to win this trophy.